got to be extremely careful otherwise you'll misunderstand what's going on in Iraq and in Syria today. Of course, you, you can't say that those of us who removed Saddam in 2003 had no responsibility for the situation in 2015. The of Hurricane Patricia have moved east after drenching parts of Texas with more than a foot of rain. The strongest hurricane ever recorded. Patricia made landfall Friday evening on Mexico's Pacific coast, uprooting trees and power lines and setting off mudslides with winds of 165 miles per hour. But the damage was blunted by mountainous terrain, and Patricia was quickly downgraded. Despite fears of mass casualties, there have been no confirmed fatalities from the storm in Mexico. Scientists have warned stronger hurricanes like Patricia will result from climate change. The storm came as climate negotiators in Bonn, Germany, wrapped up preliminary climate talks ahead of an upcoming summit in Paris, November 30th. Despite an emotional appeal for Mexico's envoy, negotiators failed to reach agreement on key issues. Friends of the Earth called their inaction quote a calamity for people across the world. A leaked draft of a massive trade deal being negotiated between the United States and European Union appears to violate an EU pledge to uphold environmental protections. The Guardian reports the leaked text quote contains only vaguely phrased and non-binding commitments to environmental safeguards, despite EU promises to the contrary. Indonesian President Joko Widodo is meeting with President Obama at the White House today. Indonesia is currently deciding whether to join the massive Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal, or TPP. Human rights groups are urging Obama to address human rights abuses in Indonesia, including reports of prisoner torture. In Guatemala, Jimmy Morales, a right-leaning former television comedian with no government experience, has won the presidency after less than half of eligible voters cast ballots. Guatemala is reeling from a corruption scandal which landed former President Otto Perez Molina in jail. Meanwhile, Argentina is headed for a presidential runoff next month. In Haiti, election results are not yet in. And in Poland, the right-wing law and justice party has retaken control for the first time in nearly a decade. Major turnaround on education, President Obama's called for steps to curb reliance on standardized testing, including ensuring students spend no more than 2% of classroom instructional time on standardized tests. The Obama administration also acknowledged its own role in advancing the overemphasis on testing. This comes after boycotts of standardized tests across the country from Seattle to New York. A New York Times investigation has found police in Greensboro, North Carolina, pulled over African American drivers for traffic violations at a disproportionate rate and searched black drivers or their cars more than twice as often as white drivers. Across four states that track searches made with the driver's consent, officers were more likely to search African-American drivers, but less likely to find contraband than if the driver was white. New Jersey Governor and Republican presidential candidate Chris Christie has accused President Obama of advocating lawlessness for voicing support for the Black Lives Matter movement. Christie made the comments in an interview on CBS's Face the Nation. The problem is this, there's lawlessness in this country. The president encourages this lawlessness. He encourages it. He encourages it how? Well, by his own rhetoric. He does not support the police. He doesn't back up the police. He justifies Black Lives Matter. I mean, the, the Black Lives Matter shouldn't be justified at all. Uh, listen, I don't believe that that movement should be justified when we're calling for the murder of police officers, no. Presidential candidate Governor Christie's remarks came after FBI Director James Comey said added scrutiny and criticism of police officers amidst protest over police brutality may have fueled an increase in violent crime because officers are less aggressive. On Saturday, as thousands rallied in New York City against police brutality, I asked Professor Cornell West to respond to the FBI Director's remarks. He has no empirical data whatsoever. I think he's lying and it's part of the backlash of all resistance. Thank God the spirit of Ferguson is still strong. And in the name of all of those, the Tories and the Death, death Poles and others, we can keep this movement strong and intense. And you can see it among our wonderful folk here. The leader of the New York Police Department's union has called for a boycott of director Quentin Tarantino's films. After Tarantino participated in the Rise Up October protest here in New York on Saturday. Meanwhile, civil rights leader Al Sharpton and his National Action Network rallied Saturday to honor the African American police officer shot and killed last week in East Harlem. The New York Daily News reports Sharpton will speak at Officer Randolph Holder's funeral next week in a call for unity. The Black Lives Matter Network has rejected the Democratic National Committee's offer of a town hall meeting with presidential candidates.
debate, saying they want a formal debate. About 25,000 people have signed a petition calling on the DNC to allow more debates ahead of the election, including one dedicated to the theme of Black Lives Matter. Republican presidential candidate Dr. Ben Carson has said abortion should be illegal in all cases, including rape and incest. Carson, who's now leading in the key caucus state of Iowa over frontrunner Donald Trump, made the remarks on NBC's Meet the Press in response to a question from Chuck Todd. If somebody has an unwanted pregnancy, should they have the right to terminate it? No. Yeah. Well, that's the right to During slavery, and I know that's one of those words you're not supposed to say, but I'm saying it. During slavery, a lot of the slave owners thought that they had the right to do whatever they wanted to that slave. Anything that they chose to do. And, uh, you know, what if the abolitionist had said, you know, I don't believe in slavery. I think it's wrong. But you guys do whatever you want to do. Where would we be? From the campaign trail, Democratic candidate for yeah. Rhode Island, Long Island, uh, Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee has dropped out of the race. Chafee was polling at less than 1%. And here in New York City, protesters gathered outside the Dominican consulate Friday to show support for Pulitzer Prize-winning Dominican-born author Juno Diaz. Last week, the Dominican consul in New York called Diaz anti-Dominican and stripped him of his 2009 Order of Merit Award for protesting the Dominican government's moves to deport hundreds of thousands of people of Haitian descent. Diaz lobbied against the deportations in Washington, D.C. last week alongside Haitian American writer Edwidge Dantikant. And those are some of the headlines. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The One Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman.